Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt. I'm a chiropractor. I've been practicing hardcore holistic nutrition since 1998. I've been studying it since 1994. In my practice, with my myself and my other practitioners, we've seen 60,000 nutrition visits in the last five years. And I've re I'm releasing blogs. I just released a new one. Along with these blogs, there's a free ebook and a free online video course. So the blog I just released mentions the difference between an observational study versus a real scientific clinical trial. Now the observational study is not science, but most nutritional recommendations across the Western world is based on observational studies. So here's the problem with them. The scientific method has multiple steps. The first one is make an observation. And the second one is form a hypothesis. That's what an observational study does. They look at groups of people and they say, these people are unhealthy, what do they do? These people are healthy, what do they do? And, but there's no science to determine causes of illness. So the people that are unhealthy, they smoke, they drink, they're overweight, they don't exercise, they don't wear their seatbelts, they eat meat, they don't go to their doctor, they don't take any pills, they don't take medications, they don't take supplements either. The people that are healthy, they exercise, they're thin, they don't drink, they don't smoke, they wear their seatbelts, they don't ride motorcycles, they eat beans, they don't eat meat, they go to their doctor, they do everything their doctor tells them to do. Based on that, can you say that meat is bad? No, because there's too many other factors. So this is why observational studies always say that meat is bad because people that are healthy avoid it. People that are unhealthy, they eat it. But there's too many other variables. So when you do a real scientific study, which is step three in the scientific method, make an observation, form a hypothesis. Step three, test that hypothesis with an experiment to see if the hypothesis is true. Step four is analyze the data and then report it. Other people have to replicate your science. So when you do a study, an actual scientific trial regarding meat, there has never been one that shows that meat causes any disease. It doesn't cause diabetes, heart disease, or cancer. So keep that in mind. Now, um, in my blogs and in my ebook, I know the difference between real science and observational studies. And so that helps me form my clinical uh, recommendations so that we get really good results. So uh, click on the link below, read this blog, get the information, share it with people around you that you care for, and then get the ebook, read that, and then take the course to the free online video course.